Hello YouTubers, today we're going to be changing the oil in my 2009 Honda Civic. First step, outline the stuff that we need. We need a hydraulic jack, a regular jack as a safety backup, our Mobile One Oil 520 oil, that's what it uh, manual calls for, and a Bosch filter. That is the D3323. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is find a suitable place for the hydraulic jack. And this looks okay for right now. Go ahead and jack this up, and afterwards, put your other jack stand in for safety. You never want to rely on just the hydraulic jack. This is where I place the jack stands, right behind the front passenger wheel. You always use two jack stands for safety in case the hydraulic jack stand fails. Grab your 17 millimeter socket and your drain pan and slide it out of the car. Next thing we're going to do is take our 17 millimeter socket and loosen up the little drain plug. It's located right here. All right. Once you've got it loose, position your drain pan underneath the plug. Carefully remove it. And screw it all the way. We're going to let this drain completely and then after that we will remove the oil filter. Alright, replace your plug, screw it back in. Wipe any excess oil off and tighten it down. Alright, here's the oil filter we're going to remove and replace. If you have an oil filter wrench, that would come in handy. If you don't, you can either try to remove it with your hands or if you have a, uh, a large wrench, you can, you can spin it off pretty easily. Alright, position the drain pan underneath the oil filter. And this one, I can undo with my hands. Remove it completely. Let it drain. Let's grab your new oil filter. Very important step. Grab a little bit of the new oil. Pour it on the rubber ring. Make sure it's lubricated before you screw it on. All right, now we're ready to screw it on. All right, clean this up a little bit. Wipe off any extra oil. Take your new oil filter. It's lubed O-ring. Screw it back on. You need to get these hand tight. No need to crank these down. After you've replaced the oil filter and drained all the old oil, remove the oil pan and lower the car back down. Honda requires four quarts of 5W20. I'm going to use high mileage Mobile One Synthetic. Unscrew the oil cap. Grab a funnel. Pour four quarts in. Alright, this comes in a five quart container. Since the manual only called for four quarts, you can look on the side. Here's measurement. This side is quarts, this side is liters. One remaining quart, that makes four. Screw your cap back on. Start your car up and let it run for a few minutes to let the oil circulate. After it's run for a couple minutes, turn it off, wait about a minute, and then check the oil. All right, I just shut the car off. It had been running for a few minutes. I let it cool for about a minute, and now we're going to check the dipstick. All right, this looks pretty good. It's almost to the top of the measurement hash marks. That means we're okay.
Once you're done changing your oil, you'll want to reset your oil percentage gauge. You can do that by pressing and holding down the reset button for approximately 10 seconds until it flashes. Release it and then press down again for about 5 seconds and it should reset to 100%. There we go. Oil life is back to 100%. Our maintenance code is gone. And we're done.